Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette Syndrome. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the truth about what it's like living with Tourette Syndrome because it can be a doozy sometimes, guys. It can really be a doozy. Considering that it still is Tourette Syndrome Awareness Month, which started May 15th and goes all the way until June 15th, I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about just what life is like living with Tourette Syndrome on a day-to-day -day basis. And so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Carly, I am 23 years old, and I was diagnosed with Tourette Syndrome when I was 12. So it's been a fairly long journey of living with tics and figuring out how to deal with them. Now, I am currently super medicated, so I am on a new medication called Pimazide. I'm also on Flufenazine and Guanvacine, so I'm on a concoction of three pills to try and help my tics because they're so debilitating. And so that's something that is the truth that I want you guys to know, is that some people with Tourette Syndrome do choose to go on medication, and it's not easy stuff on the body. This medication is super intense. Um, two out of the three are antipsychotic medications which really do a doozy on the brain. They do a number on the brain and I'm currently half asleep all the time. My psychiatrist today was like, are you gonna choose between sedation or tics? And I was like, I mean, both aren't ideal, but I think I'd rather be tired than be moving 24 seven. So that's where my life is at. So one of the little truths I guess to talk about is that Tourette syndrome impacts every part of my daily life. And the fact that I'm on medication now as well as the notion that my tics are lessened, it still means that my tics affect everything because I'm on this medication that's really, really messing with my brain. It's making me exhausted constantly. And so that's a thing that I wanted to address. So along with medication being a personal choice and having that with my Tourette syndrome, there's also a lot of other things that impact my daily life, which I wanted to talk about, the truth about Tourette's. So, Legitimately, and this isn't even an exaggeration, whenever I go out in public, I am nervous. I'm scared and it's a mixture of anxiety for sure. But the idea of having Tourette syndrome and having to be constantly stared at or fear that you're being looked at, that is what worries me. And I feel like that's a huge topic for everyone out there with Tourette syndrome. The fact that we're constantly kind of checking over our shoulders to see, oh my gosh, is someone watching us? Is someone seeing me do this embarrassing movement? Um, and that's something that a lot of people don't talk about, I think. And it's a reality of living with Tourette syndrome, not being able to know, like, should I go to a movie theater today if my takes are good? Like, movie theaters are a doozy because you're in a public place and it's a very confined public place and it's supposed to be a quiet public place. And so with Tourette's, quiet public places and takes do not go together. And that's another reality is just with Tourette syndrome, you have to actually meticulously plan, can I go here? Can I do this? Because you're always considering the other people around you and if you're going to be a disturbance or interrupt them. And that's the thing that people don't realize. So if they say, oh, I want Tourette's, hey guys, you don't. Because if you wanna to go to a movie with your friends, psych. You can't unless you meticulously plan it and suppress the whole movie. In turn, you're gonna miss parts of the movie because you're suppressing and that's a doozy, not ideal. And so when people say, oh, I want Tourette's, think about just the little things that you take for granted that you almost can't do all the time just on a spur of the moment or on a whim because you actually have to plan like, okay, are my tics good today? Am I going to be disruptive? You have to think about all of these things ahead of time and your brain is constantly going, firing around being like, okay, am I interrupting people? Are people gonna be mad at me? Am I gonna be safe to be in this situation, you know? You literally have to think about so many things and that's just something I feel like people don't realize. And another really hard truth about Tourette's is that you have to be super aware all the time of where you're going and if it's gonna be okay for you to go there. Even if it's as simple as a movie or going to school or work, all these things, all you have to take all of this into consideration. Another really hard truth about Tourette syndrome is that making friends can be really difficult. And that's something that I feel like a lot of people also don't realize because making friends is a common thing people do, um, unless you're like me and have trouble with it. <laughs> but making friends with Tourette syndrome is a lot harder due to the fact that we are almost always having a target on our back. Like, oh, these people are different. These people are weird. 
because they're ticking and because they're doing things that we don't want to be associated with. And you may think that this is a little bit harsh, but honestly, I've been told this. This is the reality. People don't always want to be associated with someone who's moving and saying stupid things without controlling it. And so that's another harsh reality is that I feel like with Tourette syndrome, you take a lot of things for granted that with Tourette syndrome, you have to be very cognizant about and be like, okay, is this going to affect my everyday life? And most of the time, the answer is yes. Tourette syndrome literally changes how I live my life. And that isn't to say I would know how I would live differently realistically because I have had Tourette syndrome my whole life. But I don't remember a world before ticks. And I just know that when I talk to other people my age that I'm like, do you do this? They're like, what are you talking about? Like for example, hey, do you have to pick a seat at the back of the class all the time where no one's behind you because you're moving? No, that's not something normal people do all the time. So it's just, you really have to alter a lot of your everyday life and really kind of make things different and make them work for you. And people don't realize this. There's that whole trend on TikTok where people are faking Tourette syndrome and wanting Tourette syndrome. And I would really wish they could see this video and just hear like, Guys, it is a challenge every single day to even leave the house. It's a challenge to drive. And I am capable of driving. I know my boundaries and I know my limits. But for example, sometimes my eyes will close shut when I'm driving and they'll lock and I won't be able to open them. And that's something that is really, really scary. Because if you're on the highway going 100 kilometers an hour, and then all of a sudden, oops, my eyes are closed. That's something that people don't consider either is like, it's literally a danger to everyday life. And even if you're just going on the residential roads you have to kind of have your eyes open when you're driving that's kind of a thing or sometimes my ankles are like let's put the pedal to the metal and that's just a tick idea that I've had of course I will never do it I will suppress that to the end of time but it's just things that people don't realize that you literally have to adapt your life to constantly and so that's another hard truth about Tourette syndrome is literally having to change how you do things in order to get by and I feel like again a lot of people don't take that into consideration when they say Oh, I wish I had Tourette's. I'm cute and quirky. Haha, <laughs> I want Tourette's. No, 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 you don't. And so that's just something I wanted to talk about too in this video is that I just, I'm a really, really big advocate for Tourette syndrome and living with tic disorders in a healthy way. And the fact that people all of a sudden are latching onto the concept of Tourette's and wanting it because of TikTok. Oof. I will never get over that. I will always be salty about that. So that is the end of this video. Just a few little tidbits on how Tourette's makes my life harder and how I have to kind of adapt my life to live with Tourette's syndrome. Just some truths that are kind of hard to take and some things that would hopefully convince you viewer out there that you do not want to have Tourette's and that you are not one of those TikTok trendy people that want Tourette's because please stop. So if you wanna stay tuned to my content for educational videos, as well as some of my life stories of living with Tourette syndrome for over 10 years, I would be so genuinely appreciative if you would subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to stay tuned to all of my content. I really, really, really enjoy posting for you guys and sharing my knowledge. If you learned anything or if you just wanna give this video a thumbs up for fun, please do so. I love getting thumbs ups, it makes me so excited and I think about it for like weeks after so do this to make me happy <laughs> and leave a comment down below saying hi telling me what you want to see in future videos or letting me know what your thoughts are on living with Tourette syndrome if you have it and how it impacts your daily life as always we're learning together we're laughing together and we're ticking together I got rice hi have a good night